The village of Siloliman is located in the district of Mojokerto, East Java, approximately one and a half hours by car from the provincial capital Surabaya. This rural mountainous area is rich in water resources. In 1992, the Environmental Educational Center, or PPLH, whose center is located in the village of Sololiman, requested the GTZ MHPP project to survey the surrounding area for mini hydropower potential. The PPLH center were keen to generate their own power from an indigenous renewable energy source as a working example for visitors to the center. The outcome of the study was a plan for a 12 kilowatt scheme harnessing approximately 50% of the hydraulic potential of a naturally descending irrigation channel running through the village. On the basis of this study, the plant with a flow of 150 litres per second and exploiting a drop in elevation of 14 metres was constructed and completed in 1994. The scheme was designed to supply the PPLH center and the small hamlet of Janjing, located across the valley from PPLH, not served by the now existing PLN grid. Between 1994 and 2000, the power plant supplied the domestic needs of both the PPL Ha Center and Janjing. Its primary use was for supplying appliances such as evening lighting, television, cassette players, radios, etc. The development of the PPL Ha as an environmental center through the 90s resulted in a gradual increase in power demand. Additional power was required to supply office computers, kitchen appliances, bungalow lighting and other general uses in the center. The power demand of Janjing also increased over this period. As a result, the scheme was unable to satisfy demand, particularly during dry periods when flow in the irrigation channel was reduced. The increasingly sophisticated loads of both PPLH and Janjing also demanded a quality of electricity which the scheme was unable to fulfill due to its simple design. As a result of these developments, PPLH were advised to consider upgrading the now five-year-old power plant. In 1999, as part of the GTZ MHPP end-use development program, a study was carried out to assess the viability of upgrading the existing scheme. The result was a proposal for the replacement of the entire electromechanical equipment with a new unit capable of producing up to 25 kilowatts of power more than double the original output. In addition to the replacement of the electromechanical equipment, upgrading of the transmission and distribution lines and all associated switchgear was required. It was calculated that the existing civil works components were adequate in size for the new design flow, therefore avoiding any rebuilding of these structures. In December 1999, a proposal was submitted to the Indonesian Global Environmental Facility Representative Office in Jakarta, requesting financial assistance via their small project support fund. 
In line with both the criteria of GEF and the interests of MHPP, the proposal encompassed a broad sphere of intervention, including both hardware and software elements. In short, the upgrading of the system should contribute to improving the overall economic situation in the villages through the utilization of this power for small-scale industrial end uses, in addition to the daily domestic appliances. In mid-2000, funding for the upgrade was approved by GEF and the physical work started in November. A contract for the supply, installation and commissioning of the hardware was given to the GTZ MHPP technical counterpart, PT Hexa Prakasa Technik from Bandung. The new generating equipment installed consists of a new T14 type crossflow turbine driving a three-phase synchronous generator controlled by an electronic load controller. The entire technology package was designed and introduced to manufacturers in Indonesia as part of the technology transfer component of the present GTZ MHPP project. The ongoing implementation of the software component of the upgrade is the responsibility of PPLH in collaboration with LEM21, a local NGO engaged in environmental community development projects in the area. This component covers the introduction of a new operation and management system encompassing tariff policy, operation procedures and end-use development initiatives. The development of productive end uses requires more than just the provision of an energy source. Technical inputs and advice to villages are needed to accurately identify possible market opportunities and suitable strategies to exploit these market niches. From the, from the shell, yeah? It's taken out of the shell, so it's still got all the seeds in. And, and then once it's in, in a form like this... The upgraded scheme went into operation on the 24th of December 2000 and was officially commissioned in the following January when representatives from GTZ MHPP and the contractor conducted extensive testing of the equipment. Experience gained through the implementation of the Sololiman Mini Hydropower Plant and its recent upgrade illustrate the importance of an integrated approach to rural development through the provision of energy. The Sololiman experience is proof that through a judicious mix of hardware and software elements in implementing projects of this nature, sustainable improvements to village welfare and economic development can be achieved.